Hey Leo, let's get started with your reading. Let's start with your oracle messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Bear Tree. Don't waste your energy or efforts on something that is clearly not bearing fruit. Wow. That's a very strong, it's a tall order, Leo, right? Don't waste your energy or efforts. Don't spend a lot of time with people, with thoughts, with events that are not really adding good vibes into your life. Yeah? Something that is clearly not bearing fruit. And if you feel like in, you are in a situation that is stuck, it's no longer progressing. Perhaps it's time to let go. Pisces, this is an energy of um, being intuitive, psychic nature, being sensitive and um, being aware or, you know, swimming in your subconscious mind. Uh, focus and commit that means that at this point in time you might be embodying the Pisces Piscean energy right you're following your intuition listening to your intuition focus and commit yourself to your spiritual growth and practice to be able to receive the gifts from the divine Wow so it's more about you now focusing on your spiritual growth. For some of you, you might even be in a long healing journey. And during that time, Leo, most often when you're healing, that's when you can also spend time or open up to the path towards your spiritual growth. Because it is in healing period, healing time, where you get to know yourself more, where you get to know more about why a certain situation had to end that way, why a certain situation, a certain lover, a certain individual at work are acting in the same way and how you dealt with them. So you also get to know how you deal with situations in your life. You get to know yourself more. And once you are at that path of getting to know yourself more, that's when you are embarking towards your spiritual growth. Because when we say spiritual growth, we are leading towards the path of self-actualization. What is really in this world that we need to achieve? Yes, we need money, we need security and all that. But in the overall sense of things, what does your soul need to accomplish in this lifetime? Now, let's move on to talk about your current situation. What's going on in Leo's current situation? What's going on with Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Immaturity, good man, slow and steady. Mm-hmm, all right. Okay, so... I'm getting that there is in this situation, in your current situation, there could be a good man. Yeah, by nature, all men are good, right? Man is a composite of body and rational soul. And by nature, we're all good. Only the circumstances and the way we use our reasoning makes something not good, <laughs> right? Um, but I feel like you're in a situation right now where you have to deal with some level of, Im of immaturity of someone. Yeah. At some point, you felt that this person, or that, you know, you have, you probably have someone around you right now who is a good material, a good man. Yeah, could be a marriage material or somebody who is really a good um, person to be with. But again, there is probably that sense of immaturity behind this. They're good by nature, but a little bit immature. So somebody here may just try to observe things slow and steady. You might even be helping this person out to grow. 
You're not in a rush anyway. What else? For some of you, this is a person who is good by nature, but um, in, in terms of relationship, they are not really able to progress it because of this lack of maturity yeah, in handling relationships. Things are moving slowly. Seems like there's no goal in place. So if there's no goal, it's like day by day. Yeah, you live day by day. There's no planning ahead. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Devil, we have the Nine of Swords, wow, Knight of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Why are, what are we thinking so much about, Leo? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. What are we thinking about so much? I feel like you are up in your head right now. Or you are in a situation where... You want things to work, but you don't really know how to make it work. For some reason, your hands are tied. There's no more way that you can make do with what you have. There's no other way to make this situation work. Hence, you're, you're feeling trapped. You know, there's nothing, that, nothing else that you can do. There's nothing else that you can do. And I feel that you're... You may be detaching from a situation, but you are still on guard. So whenever this person comes back, I feel like you will be open to to be there to talk. But you're guarded, of course. You know you don't want to get hurt easily the next time around. But you're still there. Yeah, you're still kind of waiting, but guarded. You're waiting, but guarded. Now I see someone here, Leo, which is a very um dark energy the devil so it could just be a capricorn for some of you who are um you know into those signs but into the signs yeah but um i feel like this is a person who may have some toxic behaviors in their life or somebody who may have uh addictions in their life right could be sexual addiction could be drug addiction alcohol addiction and all that somebody who is not able to progress in their life because they're stuck somewhere they're stuck in a loop that they cannot get themselves out on their own you know and the funny thing is this person knows exactly what you are doing or what you are feeling for some reason they know that you are anxious about what has happened what's happening here um, they know that you are worried or that you're having anxiety whenever you think about the situation, that things are not progressing or where they are at or what's happening with them. For some of you, they may even be, they may even have gone rogue or have gone dark. That means they might not even be communicating with you. They're just doing whatever they can or possibly deeping down low into whatever devil energy they're in right now for some of you this could also be somebody who is you know feeling depressed about their situation right now and they know that you can be worried about them you can be worried about the situation with them yeah i see that um for this person they they still keep an eye on you and we have the knight of swords so this is a moving energy leo someone here may even come forward and and talk will reach out so this could be them coming towards you and um you know have that conversation direct com conversation not loving type of conversation but more of them telling you some truth that you needed to hear they want to come correct. For some of you, they will give you explanation of what happened. Because this person knows that you could still be thinking about the situation. You're thinking that, you know, things are over or you, nothing can be done anymore. 
and they can feel that they know that so i feel like somebody will, will come forward and wanting to talk yeah and um here your outcome is the seven of wands i feel like you will hear them out you will hear them out you will give them time and space but at the same time you are not gonna jump in the first time they come over you're not gonna jump and and have peace or make peace it's more like you listening and then stepping back collecting your thoughts collecting your yeah collecting your thoughts before taking any step so now you're gonna be evaluating whatever you're gonna be hearing from this person you will you, you will evaluate it before you would even take any action let's see what other messages can we get for leo still hoping let's be honest need space Okay. Can't let go. Feels right and someone is coming. Miss you so much. <laughs> All right, Leo. I feel like someone is still attached in this situation. Yeah, still attached in the situation, even though there's been some time apart someone here is still attached it could be you or them and someone is also still hoping that at some point somebody will come somebody will reach out and you know what here we have here someone is coming someone is coming even if you have taken some time off yeah you had some space from each other there is this feeling that somebody is not able to let go fully so whoever is still hoping here for some truth, I feel like somebody and whoever is still hoping here will come. Yeah, and they'll bring some form of honesty because it seems like that's the best that can be done from of this situation for now. And they miss you, by the way. <laughs> Leo. They miss you. Look at those poppy eyes. Aww. all right you see here we also have reaching out wow what else do we need to know for leo all right we have slow and steady look at that we have two slow and steady energy slow and steady slow and steady so that's double confirmation some old fears still linger, but they want to get to know you better. Don't rush it. Take your time. And within six months, you might hear from this person. So someone is coming within six months. And I feel like, you know, they would come back with some truth, with some explanation for you. Yeah. But again, there's no need for you to jump on the first call, right? Um, don't rush it. You take your time. And here we have out of touch. Their ego is getting in the way of love. So as of the moment, somebody here is probably not talking to you or you're not talking to them. And family issues, family responsibilities are holding them back. Maybe a marriage. For some of you, this is a person who could be already in a connection or, you know, in some family, family entanglement. Yeah. So for some of you, if you're resonating with this, you know, the advice here is don't put your life on hold for somebody who's not going to be there. Yeah. But for those of you who are resonating with the fact that um, some old fears still linger, but they want to get to know you better. That means that someone is coming to talk, to be honest, in the next six months. Your takeaway is not to rush things. I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.